I recently learned about this new type of artificial intelligence that blew my mind, to be frank. It seemed like pure science fiction, something from the realm of Westworld or Blade Runner. It's quite literally made from human brains, and it's called organoid intelligence. Looking at the recent progress in AI, you would be excused to believe that deep learning is probably the only viable path here. After all, computer scientists had about 80 years to perfect artificial neural networks. That's right, the artificial neuron, the cornerstone of modern AI tech, has been first proposed in 1943. Today, the AI we love, and sometimes hate, is basically the mathematical model of our brains. But organoid intelligence is vastly different. Instead of using computer code and mathematical models to describe how model neurons work in our brain, why not actually use brain cells, grow them in a petri dish, give them nutrients, surround them with wires, and then use those brain cells for computation? Those blobs of cells, each about half a millimeter in diameter, are called brain organoids. And they are a very recent invention. In fact, they were made possible by the modern research in stem cells. Think of it this way, you're not going to cut someone's head open to just harvest their brain cells. So scientists really had to find another way. And so they managed to do that with the help of something called pluripotent stem cells, which are basically stem cells that can evolve into any other type of cell in a body. A ton of research went into this. Stem cells were first discovered in 1961. About 20 years later, scientists managed to grow them at scale in a lab. In 2006, Japanese researcher Shinya Yamanaka and his team were finally able to create the world's first pluripotent stem cells. That discovery led to an explosion in organoid research. Just seven years after Yamanaka's breakthrough, researchers Madeleine Lancaster and Jürgen Noblich created the world's first brain organoids. Today, in 2023, we are finally starting to see the first organoid intelligent devices. Essentially, they are the three-dimensional cultures of human brain cells, which are integrated on the same chip with purpose-built brain-computer interfaces. Such systems also include something called microphysiological hardware that helps to supply the cells with nutrients and generally keep them alive. Recently, an Australian startup Cortical Labs demonstrated their prototype of an organoid intelligent device called DishBrain, and it can actually play a game of Pong. Their achievement generated quite a buzz, and even the chief technology officer of Amazon flew over to Melbourne for a quick demo. Cortical Labs received 10 million US dollars in funding to continue their research. So what, you may ask? Well, the thing is, organoid intelligence actually offers three significant advantages over conventional AI systems. The first is power consumption. An entire human brain needs orders of magnitude less energy than ChatGPT requires to answer a single question. Specifically, your brain consumes about 20 watts every second. ChatGPT, on the other hand, needs about 14,000 watts to execute a query. That's 700 times more than your mind. And we're talking about energy costs simply to run AI. Training costs are so much higher. The second advantage of organoid intelligence is plasticity. You see, our brains constantly change and evolve in response to external stimuli. Modern AI just can't do that. Well, at least not yet. The third advantage is sample efficiency. Basically, it's the amount of information we need to access in order to learn something. Modern transformer-based large language models had to ingest the entire internet and then some in order to perform at the current level. We humans, on the other hand, don't have to train our brains on the entire corpus of the human written legacy. And still, we can communicate and create new knowledge fairly easily. The research published by the founders of Cortical Labs suggests that even the simplest organoid intelligent systems outperform the conventional deep reinforcement learning algorithms. While it may be tempting to think that OI will replace AI, it's unlikely to happen, at least not in the next decade or two. After all, organoid intelligence requires a completely new approach to hardware design. You must keep the brain cells alive for as long as possible. Doing that in a lab is one thing. Doing it at a commercial scale is a whole new challenge. Besides, organoid intelligent devices will suffer from the same problems and challenges that we humans do. They will be sensitive to environmental conditions and will only operate in a narrow range of temperatures. This all but rules out many applications in industrial robotics and edge AI. On the other hand, conventional deep learning AI has already reached escape velocity. 
and it will remain the dominant AI technology for the foreseeable future. Until now, we've been looking at OI and AI as competing technologies, but this may actually not be the right way to think about them. Instead, we could consider them as complementary. We could combine organoid intelligence with conventional AI agents and create hybrid cybernetic systems. Part computer, part living organism. Thinking of such applications has typically been the job of science fiction, but this technology is about to make a leap from sci-fi and into reality. We already have the building blocks to make this happen. Considering the volume and quality of new research in organoid intelligence, it's not hard to imagine that there is a pretty high chance that in the next decade or so, someone will build a working prototype of such a system. And this is where things could turn dicey. The nascent research into organoid intelligence has been steaming along nicely over the past few years. But then this happened. This last line here is a huge deal. You see, there is evidence that organoids made from human brain cells can produce patterns of brain waves that resemble the patterns of brain waves of human embryos. Nobody really knows what this means yet. But at this point, we can no longer rule out a possibility that a sufficiently sophisticated organoid could eventually develop consciousness. And we're talking about real, biological consciousness, not the simulated kind that you frequently see when interacting with the modern chatbots. We're effectively creating a synthetic life form that could eventually decide to self-replicate. But let's focus on the good for now. After all, that's the purpose of this YouTube channel. Aside from funky dystopian scenarios, Human augmentation seems like a really interesting way to apply this new technology. Here's a hypothetical scenario of how this could go. Doctors would harvest your skin cells, then turn them into pluripotent stem cells, which in turn they will transform into brain cells. They will grow a brain organoid from them, integrate it with hardware, and train an AI system to interface with it. Once the integrated system is complete, the device will be implanted into your brain and the organoid cells will fuse with your existing tissue. After several weeks of adjustment, the implant will start to enhance your abilities. Now you can pick up new languages and learn musical instruments in weeks. And your math skills match those of tenured professors. This could bring you a step closer to superintelligence. Of course, all of this is a huge speculation. But the most mind-blowing thing about this scenario is that the chance of it playing out within our lifetime is no longer zero. What are you testing for? Fidelity. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss the next episode. And see you next time.